Hey guys, today I'm going to show off a piece of software called Synergy. So let me go ahead and show you what my setup is like. Samsung monitor connected to this MacBook. Um, I can move the cursor back and forth between the Samsung monitor and the MacBook because I'm in extended desktop right now. Now over here I have the Dell monitor which is connected to this PC right there. So over here I have this cursor and I'm moving it from that screen to that screen. That was pretty seamless. I can drag that there. Pretty seamless. Now watch this. Keep in mind this monitor is for a different computer. This is for the MacBook right here. Moving, 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 moving. Boom. It's right there. All one mouse. All one mouse. Right there. Boom. Right there. Boom. Right there. Because these monitors are different resolutions, it goes over to the wrong point. I'm going to get probably get another Samsung monitor in the next couple of months. But isn't that pretty incredible? And this software is called Synergy. And I'm, if you're watching this, I'm sure you probably have already in tried to install Synergy. Now, Synergy can be a pain to install on Mac because you have to do it through terminal. Well, there's a new piece of software called Synergy KM, keyboard and mouse I'm assuming, that allows you to do that. And it actually allows you to use your mouse that's connected to your Mac and the keyboard that's connected to your Mac rather than having to have the mouse and keyboard connected to a PC. So the way you do that is fairly simple. The software is actually a preference pane. Um, so it's under system preferences and it's called Synergy KM as you can see right there. I'm going to go ahead and click it. This pops up. Um, my location is the name of my computer. And then I told it to share my keyboard and mouse. And then my login level is none. And then I... yeah. And then my server configuration. This is how you decide how you have your servers connected. So the MacBook is on this side of the screen and the PC is on this side of the screen. If it was vice versa, I just drag it like that. And that way the mouse knows which way to go. So to add a server, you click this little plus button. You name it, the name of the computer that you want to connect to. So if I want to connect to a PC named Office, I would type in that exactly, office, and then I would just go down here and click apply now. Capitalization does matter. Keep that in mind. That does matter. So you need to get that precise. Um, so that's pretty much all you have to do on the Mac side of it. And this is how you do it on the Windows side. You go over here, you can download the software for Synergy on Windows. Um, you open it up. And pretty much you just type in the IP address of the computer that is acting as the host. Or you could type in the name. So the IP address, the local IP address is 10.1.198 for the MacBook and you just type that in on Synergy and you click the start button. So that's pretty incredible. That's how easy it is. Um, just keep in mind that you need to get that information, right? If you have some problems getting this to connect or if you get an error, I would try going into the advanced tab. And for the interface, I'd type in that same exact IP address. For the screen name, um, you would type in the name of the PC that you're using. And then the port number is going to be 24800. And then you click OK. And then if you still continue to have problems, disable Windows Firewall and you should be fine and that is how simple this is so let me show you one other thing that can be really cool so let me go ahead and open up my own firefox and i'm going to type something using my keyboard test da 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 uh, there i typed that i'm going to copy now i'm going to go over here Oh, I'll open up mm, Safari, and that way you can just paste it, and paste.
it shares the same exact clipboard. They share the same clipboard. So, I copied that from that computer. Pretty nifty, isn't it? So you can be browsing the internet on this and have your research paper up on that and be typing away. If you have two computers, if you want to do it that way. Or another thing that people have used this for is if they have a media center PC tucked away in a closet or something, um, they can share the connection on their using a laptop. Because this is all done over your local network. So in the video description is the places where you download the software. I'll add a link for the Mac software, the Windows software, and the Linux software. And if you want the PC to share its keyboard and mouse, hold on, let me zoom out. If you want the PC to share its keyboard and mouse, open up Synergy and click, just check the button that says share this computer's keyboard and mouse. So it will act as the server. And then you configure it and you add a location. It's a little more complicated than the Mac, but I think you'll be able to figure it out. So that's pretty much all I have for you today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and thank you for watching.